Hi, I'm Chris, also known as That French Bloke. Recently, a viewer asked me this question. Is there a difference between Nikon AI and AIS lenses? Interesting question, isn't it? So I'll tell you everything you need to know about this after that. First, I'd like to thank Anash Basson, sorry if I didn't pronounce your name properly, about this interesting question. Is there a difference between Nikon AI and Nikon AI lenses? The short answer is yes. But this requires a longer answer, and when we develop it, the answer might change a bit. So I warn you, this is about to get technical. The obvious answer to that question is that there is a difference between the two types of lenses in how the aperture is actuated. But to understand more about it, we need to look at how the lenses are working and what is happening when you are taking a picture. To see the difference in details, I've got two Nikon 50mm lenses with me. One is a 50mm 1.4 AI and one is a 15mm 1.8 Serie E and this is an AI-S lens. So let's see the differences first. So here are the two lenses. There is two way to tell an AI-S lens apart from an AI lens. The first one is on an AI lens, the maximum aperture will be marked in orange, which is not the case here on the AI lens. The second way to look at it is if you look at the mount the mount is fairly similar except that the AI S lens have a little groove here that is used to tell the camera that the lens that's attached to it is indeed an AI lens for this some camera have a little um, finger on the mount that will be released if an AIS is mounted or pressed if it's an AI, AI lens. Let's have a look at this Nikon F4 body. And what you see is here you have a big pin that is for releasing the lens. And next to it you have a smaller one. That is this one that is used by the camera to detect that groove here and to know whether or not the lens attached is an AI lens. So what's push Nikon to release the AIS after the AI lenses? That was called for by some new development in camera technology. When they released the FA, the FA was modern camera with some very modern features like program mode and automatic aperture. So what does this mean? Well, here's an older lens. And here is how lens are working. By default, the aperture is closed on a lens or more exactly it's set to whatever you choose on the aperture ring when the camera when the if i let's put it here if the lens is mounted on a camera the camera will release that lever meaning that no matter which aperture you select here the aperture will actually be open in full that allow you to look through the viewfinder and have a clear view of the viewfinder okay if it didn't do that the when you close the aperture the picture in the viewfinder will get darker and darker to the point of making it hard to compose your image some older lenses did that and that is why some lenses including the early Nikkor f mount lenses have auto marked on the front this auto means that the lens the camera will automatically close the aperture only when it's needed and you will have the full amount of light going through when you're composing your picture what was the auto mean and that was all well and good for a very long time so what's happened is this lever is pushed in full okay you select your aperture sorry this lever is put in full you select your aperture 
it doesn't change but when the camera is about to take the picture it will release this lever that will close the aperture down to your selected aperture the picture is taken and then this is open again so that you can carry on composing for the next picture that is all very good if indeed you set yourself manually the aperture because the lens have all the mechanic inside to set that aperture limit but if you are on an automatic mode like speed priority or program where it's the camera itself that have to set the aperture then you are in trouble because the camera will not know which position of this lever will correspond to your desired aperture or to its desired aperture i should say so what it could do is go through increment up to the point where it receives the amount of light needed and then take the picture but that would introduce lag something that photographers have never are never keen on so what nikon have done is that they introduce a new range of lenses called ais and they work exactly in the same way except for one interesting detail is that the moment you move here the lever to close the aperture is proportional to the action on the aperture itself this means that the camera will know that moving this little lever to this position corresponds to that aperture there is a direct link between the two and that is reproducible across all the lenses which wasn't the case for that which means that if the camera decides that your aperture should be 8 it will know how to close it down to the 8 before taking the picture this is also why when you're using uh, an automatic mode a program mode or when you're letting the camera uh, control the aperture you should always have the aperture of the lens to the minimum because this let this lever go all the way and really let the camera choose what is the aperture so that is the big difference between ai and ais is that ais you can use program mode and shutter priority mode on your camera so said like that it sounds very good and you may be thinking well i want an ais lenses because i want the possibility of uh, using it with an automatic mode here's the thing i've got bad news for you there are only two cameras in the nikon ranges that take advantage of the ai lens this is the nikon fa that i've mentioned earlier and the nikon f501 all other cameras do not okay and you'll say well you showed us a body of an icon f4 that have the sensor yeah it have the sensor but it is not going to use it anyway it's rely on the nikon af mount to exchange information with the lens okay and it will not be able to work in full program mode or aperture mode you will need to change it to something else you, you, you will not have that on, on the F4. Only two cameras are having that. It's the FA and the F501. Even if you use it on a digital uh, camera, so it, it's, it's not going to work that way. There will, no be, there will be no difference in the way those two lenses operate on, let's say, a D700, a D4, the 850 whatever no difference at all so this is why the answer is not as simple as it sounds yes there is a difference between the two lenses it's a noticeable one but should you care short answer is no not at all unless you are planning to use an icon fa or f501 in automatic mode then yes you should care but apart from that no 
And I, as a reseller, I can't count how many times people ask me, oh yeah, can you confirm that this lens is an AS because I want an AS lens, blah, blah, blah. I don't argue with them. I, tell, I get, give them the answer whether it's an AS or not. But most of the time, they don't need an AS lens. They don't. The, I think the S for in the AS is superfluous. You don't need it. You, you should not care. Buy one or the other. There is a difference, but this difference will not have any impact on what you're doing. So forget about it. So that is the answer to that question. As you see, the answer is a bit more complex uh, than it sounded at first. And uh, it's quite interesting to see how people are in their mind focused on one type of lens because they think it's better when in actual fact it's not. Not at all. One day I may <laughs> talk as well the difference between the AF lenses and AFD lenses. Once again, it's, you know, people will say, oh, I want the AFD. Yeah, they want it. But do they need it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Anyway, that will be for, for next time. I hope you find this um, video interesting. It was a short one, a very technical one. Uh, if you did find it interesting, don't forget to like the video, to subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos, I hope, and I'll see you next time.